The TL7 T102 loaded enclosure from Kicker allows for the impressive performance of their shallow L7 subwoofer. Measuring a mere seven and a quarter deep, this enclosure provides the hard hitting and high power capabilities of a 10 inch speaker that can easily fit behind the seat of a truck, underneath the seat of an extended cab pickup, or in the trunk of your car if you don't want to take up a lot of space but want some base. So stay with us as we review and test this loaded shallow subwoofer enclosure by Kicker. Hey, what's up? Josh here from Breakers Stereo and Performance. Welcome to our channel that reviews all the best in car audio, performance, suspension, and more. Because we don't drop stock. And if you're like us, where stock just doesn't cut it, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. Okay, Kicker came out with their shallow L7 square subwoofers a while back, along with preloaded enclosures. Now there are down firing individual boxes and wedge boxes. They also sell them in eights, tens, and twelves individually but we're gonna be focusing on just the 10 inch wedge enclosure because this 10 inch enclosure is our most popular box. And I like the wedge box over the down firing box because in my humble opinion, I believe subs don't get as loud in a down fire box in certain applications. We'll be going over the specs of the subwoofers and the dimensions of the box. And then we'll head out to a couple vehicles to hear how these things sound. We'll test one in the trunk of a car and then we'll test two in an extended cap pickup to see how good these woofers sound. And since we're out there, we'll go ahead and get an SPL reading as well. Okay, so here are the features for this product. Now, Kicker's L7 square design increases the cone area by shaping the cone in a square. Now, this provides 16 to 20% more area compared to a typical round subwoofer. With more cone area, the subwoofer can displace more air, resulting in bass that is not only deeper, but louder. The cone material used in this square silicon design is made of injected molded polypropylene, providing a lightweight piston for better control. Additionally, a rear cone brace is integrated into the cone with a continuous perimeter wedge to increase strength and reduces cone warp under pressure. The surround is crafted from a durable and flexible sandoprene rubber with a positive roll design for controlling extreme cone excursion. The rib corners of the surround ensure linear cone motion and the stitching reinforces the cone edge for added durability. So this wedge enclosure houses one square L7T 10 inch subwoofer. Now again, this is a shallow mount woofer and is a dual four ohm, so your end impedance is two ohm. So the box is constructed of three quarter inch MDF and is covered in carpet. The sub is countersunk on the face of the box and you have this nice embroidered kicker logo on the top. Power handling for this enclosure is 500 watts RMS and 1000 peak. Frequency response is 25 hertz up to 100 hertz and the sensitivity at one watt one meter is 85.98 dB. Now the dimensions are 20 and a quarter wide by 12 inches high and the top dimension is five and three eighths and your bottom dimension here is seven and a quarter. Okay, so let's do the testing. Now, like I said before, we're gonna go ahead and test one of these in the trunk of a car and then we'll do a pair underneath the seat of a full size pickup. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's start with the 40 Hertz test tone. Not bad for a single sub, you got 123.6 decibels. Let's move on to some music. Okay, so that was pretty impressive as far as the deep bass is concerned. That's a very small box. We have frequencies in that 45 hertz, 50 hertz range. It's definitely reproducing those very good. All right, so let's try some different music. Okay, so some nice deep bass, nice roll off. Uh, sound quality is actually really good. On this song, we had frequencies between about 40 and 60 hertz. So, so a little bit higher on the frequency uh, spectrum, but uh, definitely sounds really good. Okay, so let's try something that's a little more snappy. So I'm really liking the way that this woofer sounds. It's nice and snappy, but it also plays the deeper bass. So altogether, a really good sounding subwoofer uh, with great range for a small box. Now, granted, it's only one sub, so it doesn't get super loud. Plus, we are in a sedan, and this is a BMW, so it is hard to get bass out of the trunk uh, of a BMW, typically. So keep that in mind, but altogether, I am pretty impressed with that single sub. Okay, so let's go ahead and take two of these and pop them underneath the seat of a full-size pickup. All right, cool. So we almost hit 130, we got 129.9. All right, now let's check out some music. Okay, I'm loving the bass that these two woofers are putting out. Nice and deep, good roll off. 
All right, very similar to it. Of course, I heard in the BMW, but it's more intense because we have two. Okay, all right, so let's move on to the next song. Okay, very accurate when it comes to those drums. The box is underneath the seat and I can feel the bass kicking on the back of the seat. So I'm really impressed with the way that these woofers sound. Now, the box itself with the woofer is $299. So $299. Now we've done many tests uh, with subwoofer boxes in this truck and I can say that it's not quite up to par some of the ones that we've listened to, like the Audio Mobile or the GL Audios, but it is pretty damn close. And you're talking about $299 with the box, you do two of these, 600 bucks. Compared to the JL Audios, which are 450 a piece times two, that's 900, and that does not include the box. Also the Audio Mobiles, which are around 400 times two, that's 800, again, no box. This is a great alternative for someone that does want a good amount of bass, good sound quality, hits hard, nice roll off, for a little bit less money than you would spend on the JLs or the Audio Mobiles. All right, so let's say for instance, these boxes don't fit underneath the seat of your vehicle. You could always buy the woofers by themselves, the 249 a piece, and then buy a box that's custom for your vehicle. Now, if you're interested in this box or the subwoofer by itself, we'll leave links in the description below, taking you directly to the product page. Now remember, we do have financing available. Just add it to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your woofer or your woofer boxes out to you as soon as possible. Okay, that's gonna do it. Again, I'm Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, see you next time.